Okay, so we recently had an experience on the golf course. Uh, actually, in this way, it's kind of off the golf course. But on the golf course. But on the golf course. <laughs> right. This is an experience that was truly once in a lifetime. And we, we've had some incredible golf experiences before. No we doubt. We've had the opportunity to play in multiple countries, unbelievable golf courses. Yes. Yeah. Um, but this is something that just never happened before. And, and the, what's weird, too, about it, it's like it's something that I was never even knew was a possibility until recently getting no it's just in general oh, in general sure until we got a little bit closer to the game and some of these, these see, yeah. really great golf clubs mm -hmm. and just kind of to say it in a nutshell and then we'll walk you guys through it is that we got to spend the night overnight in Baltusrol's clubhouse yeah and and i'm mm -hmm. just thinking as, as i'm i'm lying in this bed i'm thinking like who else has slept here exactly. Does jack sleep, sleep in this bed i'm sure a anything's possible, right? right? And and I had not <laughs> known previously until we started doing this recent series we're doing inside the gates where we're going inside some of the best private clubs. More golf clubs than I thought have they rooms do. where members can stay. I'm noticing that. Yeah. And it's a great concept. It's incredible. So take us through it. Start Kick us off about how this would ha happen and what went down. So we, in the process of this, this series has been great to film. It's been fun. A lot of logistics, planning, and although it's all what we're doing, we're focusing on New Jersey for this series. Yeah, we are. We're based out of New Jersey here, but these courses are, are far. Jersey's a big state, so we had Hollywood Golf Club right on a Sunday, and you know, we were playing Baltus Roll Upper. There's two courses there, Upper and Lower. We were playing the Upper the very next morning early, so we were poking around for places to stay near Baltus Roll, mm -hmm. and I, I was looking at like Springfield, New Jersey, like Fairmount in. <laughs> stuff like near right. Newark and stuff that I'm like, I don't know if we want to stay here. Um, but we reached out to to a friend of ours who's who's a member at Baltz Roll with just a suggestion because he lives in the area. And he's been great. And, and I thought he would just come back with like a, hey, stay at the Radisson or something. Right, random. right. But he's like, let me check the club and see if you guys can stay there. And I'm just like, wait, what? Right. This is a possibility? Yeah. Because we've seen the rooms in part of an all-access tour we've done for another video about a year ago yes and we just went up there and we we did some video and, and it was great but at that point it was just severe jealousy like why can't we stay here yes so 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 we we got i think we got the ball to like 10 p.m because of traffic coming home from the beach well and and, and to kind of jump ahead like he snagged us three rooms. oh yes sorry excuse me big important part of the story yeah he said there's three rooms left and it was perfect because it was you me and our camera guy justin right who's from the New Hampshire area. Right. So he wasn't going home that night. He needed a place to stay. So it's like, great. Book those three rooms. And to set this up, it's not a massive hotel. No. They have about 10 rooms. There's 10 rooms. and um, In the clubhouse itself, we're talking about. In the actual well, clubhouse. Right. With all that history. Right below you, there's trophies and the dining room. Yes. The locker room is all below you. Yes. Because Baltusrol <laughs> is, a, is a large facility. Mm -hmm. Multiple and, buildings. And what they have, multiple buildings, they also have a carriage house that has a couple more spots. And oh, the, right above the wine cellar? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right above the wine cellar. And understand that a large part of the reason reason for this is that a lot of members to these bigger clubs mm -hmm. are from outside of town. They travel right. in to play. They'll stay a week. They'll play their week in the summer and head home. Mm -hmm. We've also run into this at some of the other courses we've played where they'll have on site somewhere anywhere from usually two to four rooms. Cottages. Um, and even you don't even think about Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy has. Yep. They've got some rooms up in that clubhouse that you can stay. Matita Conk has right. cottages. But again, this is not like you go on Hotels.com and you book this. You have right. to be a member in order to book a room. But how, they're legitimate rooms. But however, when you get into the room, it feels like you booked it on Hotels.com. It does. <laughs> it does. It does. So we got the rooms. And I'm nervous because like here I am saying it's 10 p.m. We're trying to be like, how are we going to get into this room? Where's our key? Where's the lobby? You were nervous. I was like, the gates are going to be closed. It's a, you know, this isn't a hotel. So I called them obviously the morning of, and they're like, no, we're open 24 seven. There's a guard on, on, you know, he's on site. Uh, you'll be able to get your key and get in your room. I'm like, great. So like I said, 10 PM, we get there and, um, we go literally, you walk right to the clubhouse. The door was open, but you know, it's, it's guarded. You can't just go and do this. No, you gotta but go they do have a guard. You got a guard. 24 hours a day. He there. confirms your reservation. Yep. He says, okay, I notice you have three rooms. Go ahead, pull in there and go and get your key. So we go in. 
We walk into the lobby and right there on the desk. Now, the place is empty. I don't think there's anyone in the building, right? right. You'd have to, yeah. I don't think anyone in that building. There might be some guards walking the grounds, but nobody was in that building. You walk right up to the lobby and there was these these three envelopes, Baltus Roll, like letterhead, uh, perfect saying like, dear Mike Fasano, Frank Fasano, you know, here's your key. Here's your room. Which was enjoy that chills moment for us. Yeah, enjoy your stay. Here's your room. And then right. like, now, now, you, now you're walking upstairs. I mean, you're just walking amongst history. Yeah. You know, you're going to your room, you're passing like US Open trophies. Right. You know what I mean? Like you're and we get into the room immediately upon opening the door. I mean, legitimate hotel room. You know what I oh, mean? Yeah. Legitimate. You had you know, you had your big bed with your closet, your shower. And for me, a big a big um I guess a selling point for hotel rooms is the uh is the shower pressure. <laughs> Baltistrol shower pressure, it was top ten. It was great. It was great. So First experience for me, love the decor and all of the details all over the room. The pillows, Absolutely. man. But what for that? me did not feel like a hotel room is it was not cookie cutter. I felt like I was staying in a room at the clubhouse. Every room was different because, like, of course, we're like kids. Right. We're so excited. We're running around the place. Not running around. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. But we're like, we're like popping in your room. Let me check out your yeah. room. Let me check out me Justin's check. room. Mm. And each of our rooms were a little, a little different. different. Like yeah. Your room had like, like a fireplace in it. It did have like an right? old fireplace. Yeah. My room was so sick in that the windows overlooked the putting green. Because when I say this, mm -hmm. I mean literally, you are just in the clubhouse. It's just one floor yeah. above, the you know the lobby of the clubhouse. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you get in. They've got the water bottle with the etched logo in it's it. It's etched into the bottle. The pillows had the Baldestrol logo stitched Snacks into them. Snacks on the table for you. Sna yeah. And this is something that it's just like I would never, other than you know having yeah. a friend who was a member and this incredible experience that we're doing, I would never be able to experience something like this. And nor, like I said, what I've ever known it. I've always known golf clubs to have these great clubhouses, but I yeah. never knew there was rooms there. And now it makes all the sense in the world that they're there. No, it totally does. Yeah. And and you know, it's they'll get you. I mean, it's it's the standard cost of a a, a regular hotel room. You know, in the area, a couple hundred bucks for the night yeah. for each we, room. We, if, if you're wondering, we didn't stick our buddy with the bill. We yeah, did. no, we, we paid. We reimbursed him for we it. We definitely reimbursed but, him. The but member we has couldn't to pay. pay. For the it. member has to pay. And, and then just we like just hit him else. with that hard Venmo. Right. But it was the best Venmo we could have ever sent. Yeah. You know, money just well spent. For that experience. Yeah. We, were, we were laughing because we were like, we ate before we, we left. We, were, we, we went to Hollywood, we ate dinner, and then we hit the road. But I was like, are we going to get DoorDash the Baltus roll? <laughs> Like, is there, there's no room service here. Like, yeah. what are we going to do? Yeah. But, uh, but luckily the next morning there was this huge New Jersey golf outing and they had breakfast spread in the terrace, like in the room. Yeah. So we got to just mingle. It was. And get that. It was just an incredible experience. Absolutely incredible. And, and just the idea to be able to have a 730 tea time and wake up already in the clubhouse. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Like, I, we still laugh about this yeah. day because how incredible an experience it was. Were you not nervous at all, but did you? Because you know the story of Baltus Rawl. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> You're thinking ghosts. I'm thinking ghosts. I'm like, this place is haunted. I mean, I think it's had multiple fires. There was one uh, in that same clubhouse a couple yeah. of years ago. Yeah, there was. And I was telling my kids, I you said. Didn't sleep that night, did I would, you? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I told my kids, I was like, you know, dad's sleeping in a haunted clubhouse tonight. Because apparently there was an actual person, Baltus Rawl. Yeah. And he was murdered there. Way back in the what, 1800s? Yeah, that's what, that, that's what the club I was I think the story after. was like they just froze him outside in the cold weather. They tied him up and they robbed the yeah, place. Yeah, robbers came, robbed his house, house, tied him up, and left him outside to die. And yeah, <laughs> rough way to go. And, yeah. you know, uh, so that night I'm thinking this place is haunted. But, but on your point about where the rooms were, my view was, the in, was their signature hole, fourth hole. And when I woke up in the morning, I'm laying there in my bed, and there is this incredible pink light blaring through. I'm like, what is going on? But it was the sunrise over the um, over the trees that overlooked the course. I got this incredible photo of it. Uh, but just to wake up and look at that, I mean, top five experience yeah. for me all the time. It's one of those things that, like I said, it just becomes a a story that you'll hold on to forever. Yeah. Like uh, uh, like nowadays, it's like you're kind of trading golf stories with your buddies. Mm -hmm. and like somebody says, like, hey, have you ever played ball to be like, I've spent the night spent there. Spent the night there. Now yeah. you can say that. 